Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video, and this is a another unboxing video, and one of um, an album of one of my favorite bands. So as you guys can see, this is the newest repress, uh, the 2022 repress for Daft Punk's first album, Homework. Um, so there's a lot I have to say about this album and Daft Punk. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just first remove here the plastic so i've been really really excited for this album this is actually the only daft punk album i didn't have because when i first started buying records um it was a little bit more common in my area but i wanted to focus on the ones i liked the most which would be discovery and random access memories so and then I got the Tron Legacy soundtrack, and then I also got the, um, which one? Well, and then after some time, I ended up getting the, uh, the Mondo Tron Legacy um, soundtrack for the 10th anniversary of the Tron Legacy movie, which is one of my favorite movies, and I just love the soundtrack for that. Um, but I never got homework, and I never got um, Human After All. And I always really wanted them, but I kept just pushing them off a side, to the side, you know, like they were pretty common and I wanted to focus on other more expensive, rare albums. And then Daft Punk announced their retirement uh, last year in 2021. And I, I remember that day I was working um, and I just, I literally stopped working. <laughs> Um, I stopped answering all the calls, stopped working on the projects I had to do, and I just went crazy trying to find um, the last two albums, literally that day, because I was just shocked and sad, uh, because again, Daft Punk is one of my all-time favorite musicians, um, and it was just so sad <laughs> that they were retiring. Um, for me, Random Access Memories is one of my all-time favorite albums, um, so... Thankfully, I had gotten that, but you know, that's the one that's most widely available. But so homework and human after all, I couldn't get because it got sold out everywhere, literally in the in a matter of just minutes. Um, so I just started panicking. I couldn't find it. Thankfully, though, I was able to on Discogs get a, a European copy, a UK copy of human after all. But I could not get a copy of homework. And I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll wait until homework comes. And then I got more albums and then in general, and I just didn't get um, human, uh, sorry, homework for the longest time. And I did look a little bit every now and then, but it was just really expensive. So I'm like, I'm going to wait a little bit more and focus on getting other albums. Uh, but then for the one year anniversary of their retirement, they played or showed us an official um, a live 1997 tour concert video, which was amazing. And a little sorry about that when they were airing that because they just announced it and it was like, oh yeah, it's coming out in like an hour. And I'm like, crap, I have to be at work. Um, and, and so like I was driving to work, wa trying to watch the concert on my phone on like my dashboard where I keep my phone for like the GPS and stuff. Um, you know, so I was trying to watch the concert as I was trying to work. Do not do that because that's extremely irresponsible. But I, I live like 10 minutes away and I know uh, from my job and I, I know the way pretty closely and it's a very quiet neighborhood. So, but do not do that for anyone watching. Um, so, yeah, and I, I got to work and I, I, and I couldn't have been on my phone because at this particular moment I was um, working, taking care of. Um, some helping some customer customers in, in person, um, so I couldn't have my phone out. Um, so I was just like, no, I'm missing this concert. It's like the one time I can actually go to a live Daft Punk concert with so many people, even though it's like archive footage. But um, it was, and then my earphones died, and I, I and because I couldn't watch it, I was just listening to it. Um, but yeah, then my earphones died. I'm like, I'll just try to find it somewhere online and thankfully I did um, since you know it was a one-time only kind of thing but um, thankfully I did so then they had announced 
that they were reprinting Daft Punk's homework 25th anniversary. Um, and that was back in February. So it finally arrived. Um, arrived like two days ago. I've just been really busy, so I haven't been able to actually open this until now. But I'm very, very happy that it's finally here. So as you guys can see, it's Daft Punk's first album. And I finally have it on vinyl. I have it on CD. I have all of them on CD, but... Um, I, anyway, so um, this arrived May, uh, I think, let me see, I think it arrived on Saturday, and today's Monday, uh, today's Monday, May 9th, so it arrived May 7th, um, if not May 7th, then May 6th, but uh, yeah, so I'm so glad it's finally here, um, I love like the black velvet um, texture in the background, and it just like the pin stitching artwork and what's really really cool about this is that which i didn't know right over here where my finger is it's raised up a little bit sadly it's just the outline this um palish vanilla colored outline is raised the rest of the daft punk logo is not but this is still pretty cool so uh they did do a special um and i love like again the lines it, it looks like a, a, a particular like just white lines and stuff but it's actually like I guess their jacket and it's just how it was photographed and um, the light reflecting off of the leather jacket except that this predates when they started wearing the robot costumes so but still it it's nice to think that it was their jacket um, but yeah so uh, we've got here written in cursive homework and then the album contents and all tracks written and produced by Thomas Benguetta and Guy Manuel de Ome Cristo for Daft Life. Cool. So I'm really, really excited for this. Um, again, as I've been saying, Daft Punk is one of my all-time favorite musicians. Um, I grew up listening to them just, you know, on TVs um, and movies and stuff. So um, there wasn't really a introduction for me to Daft Punk because... You know, when we came to the U.S., I was only three, and that was at the end of 99. Um, so soon after, you know, like just watching TV and hearing music around, it was always just playing. So I was just naturally introduced to Daft Punk. Um, and Daft Punk and Gorillaz, same thing. Um, and I think my brother kind of liked Daft Punk a little bit, some of their songs. But I know they, I feel like he liked Gorillaz, my older brother um, liked Gorillaz a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so Daft Punk, I'm so excited for this. So yeah, the 25th anniversary one actually had, um, a couple extra remix songs and that was digital only. So I'm very glad that this is just the, the reprint of the original. So let's just open up this. And again, we've got the leather jacket and it's really cool how it looks like kind of like a locker in a way. Um, but let's take a look here. What's what we see here. So, Kiss Summer Tour, that's pretty cool. I've only seen this image a few times, so it's really, really cool to see all of the detail in it, especially up close. And honestly, this is also printed on um, pretty nice glossy cardboard, so it doesn't feel cheap. Marvel Comics, Chic Records. As seen on TV, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I also like that they have Darlin written over there, which was their original band. So if you guys have not seen my um my tribute to Daft Punk that I made and released on the one year anniversary of their breakup, but actually started a few uh, days after they broke up last year. It took me a year to make it because I wasn't working on it for very long. Uh, I'm always pretty busy, so um do check that out it's basically a full biography of them which includes things from their darling days um and it also includes um you know things that i made up um to create a lore about daft punk um so it's a very interesting like real life biography and fake uh biography as well um, so it's it's really fun. I definitely uh, suggest you guys check that out. And I'm very, very pleased with how it came out. So let's just remove this part here. So all tracks written and performed. 
same thing in the back. Then we got Tomas Sanguiman. Love this picture. And then this one, this is pretty cool. I did not know that it would have like all of these things. And honestly, these images really reflect. Um, yeah, no, these images really reflect on the songs. That's really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that they went with that. Cause that, that is actually really cool. And then here we have the album side B. And then we got side A. So I'm really glad now to finally have Daft Punk's um, albums on vinyl, all of them. Um, I really wish that they would have gone on another world tour. Oh, and I also do have Alive 1997 and Alive 2007 on record as well. This is pretty cool. Uh, Guy Man and Thomas as little kids or as babies. And it's pretty cool that they do this whole like thinking um, so that's pretty cool that's really nice and of course now we got teachers I love that song of teachers high fidelity rock and roll like yeah this is so cool that they actually included the, the things that they included in here is basically the songs <laughs> so that's super cool And yeah, phone card, last one. I really wish, and I know that it was supposed to be on it, uh, but I really wish that music, um, their song, music, was go um, actually added into this album. But sadly, it wasn't. Um, and now we got the disc again. Side D. And C. So yeah, I'm just so happy to have this, you guys. Um, again, Daft Punk is one of my all-time favorite musicians. Um, so definitely check out that video tribute I made for them. Um, they, they're just amazing. One of my biggest influences as well. So again, here's that cool look. So yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, well, sorry, stumbling on words. Um, that's about it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any Daft Punk memories, definitely let me know. Um, and yeah, just share them because it's, it's always cool to like hear people's stories regarding the music. Um, also, in terms of um, Daft Punk, one of my favorite songs is definitely Get Lucky. And I remember when it came out, I actually spent that whole year basically listening to that song at least like two or three times a day and I never got tired of it and I'm still not tired of it I, I just love that song one of my all-time favorite songs but um anyway guys rate come subscribe um and I'll talk to you guys later and again definitely check out my uh Daft Punk a science fiction biography video I'll put the link for it in the description below um yeah so I hope you guys check it out hope you guys like it with all that said, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.